Hello everyone and welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie a pattern called the CDC X caddis because it combines the back of an X caddis and the rest is just made mostly out of CDC. So I've already mashed the barb on this size 14 dry fly hook and I placed it in the vise. For the thread, I'm using this new thread that I picked up last week. It's Nano Silk from Samplefly, and this one is 18 aught, so 30 denier, but extremely, extremely strong. It's unbelievable how strong it is. And this one is in the color olive. We'll start by putting down a layer of thread, leaving just a little space behind the eye. So, put down a layer of thread back to the barb of the hook. Then we can snip off the tag. As for the classic x caddis this fly will have a trailing shock. So for this I'm using some golden antron. I just cut a little piece and I'll divide this in two. So I'm left with a few strands and we'll tie this in at the barb of the hook and we'll go down just a few turns down the band to give this a little more natural bend because when the caddis emerges it will have its training shock sticking down into the water so we'll mimic this by having our training shock just pointing a little way down and then we can tidy up the body then come in with your scissors and cut this off we don't want this to be too long so a hook gap in length now for the rest of the fly we will mainly use CDC and here as we'll tie this in an olive version I selected one CDC feather this one is olive so for the body we will use the petit jean technique of building up the body just with one CDC feather. The technique is really simple so you take your feather, you tie it in, then with a couple of loose turns, then by pulling the feather you can tie it in very very close to the tip so tie it back to the training shock and then back up again tying down all the fibers and now we go up with a thread to the one third part on the hook now here you can use cycle pliers if you want to, but we will just spin the feather and this will make a little CDC rope or like a dubbing brush and then you take it up in touching turns and as you go up you can continue to spin the feather and don't worry if we have some fibers sticking out to the side these you can either leave them or cut these off and here as the feather as we go up with the feather it becomes larger and larger so it gives a really nice taper to the body when we're up at the one third part, 
just cut it off or tie it off and then cut off the excess and here as I said you can leave these or you can just cut this off to be left with a nice tapered body now we will tie in the wing as I want the wing to be a little darker than the body I've chosen one CDC feather in the color Beast and one in Dark Dawn so I've selected two nice feathers and I'll just place these tips aligned and I want the concave sides facing down so it gives this nice shape to the wing so with the tips aligned stroke the fibers with between your fingers and then come in on top and then with a couple of turns secure the feather to the top then lift up the ends one turn under then we can pull these two feathers to length and we want these to extend just past the training shock make sure to keep the feathers the two feathers on top and then when you're happy with the length tie it down with some firm turns holding keeping the feathers on the top then some turns in front to really secure it and then come in with your scissors and cut off close so there we have the wings now we can tidy up in front with some turns then for the last part of the fly which will be the thorax and head and the representing legs and everything on the fly I will use the magic tool from Marc Petitjean makes the job really really simple so to build up the thorax I'll use a mix of some dark olive CDC and I also have a dubbing mix this one is horse ear, some squirrel and UV UV eye stub so I'll mix these two so here I've put down a thin layer of dubbing and then you take your CDC feather and you push it down through the dubbing and this will hold the dubbing and all the fibers up like this you take your clamp first you cut off the two end pieces here you come in with your clamp take hold of all the fibers and now we have all the fibers between the clamps and then cut off the stem and here we have a nice mix of dubbing and CDC to get this onto the fly I'll use the split thread technique so you take your bobbin you spin it counterclockwise pull down and when you feel that the thread is flat come in with your dubbing needle and just split the thread in two this one is so thin but that will do so and then you come in with your clamp 
between the threads. Then holding tight, we can then spin the bobbin clockwise again to cord the thread and to trap all these fibers between. Then go up with your bobbin. And here we have a nice chenille of dubbing and CTC. So this is the last part of the fly. We'll build up the thorax and each turn stroke the fibers back, building up a nice thorax and yes it should look this rough and then when you reach the eye you should have no CDC and dubbing left. So here we can see all these CDC fibers sticking out all places and representing legs and all other things and these will move nicely when it's on the water. Then add just a bit of glue to the thread. This is optional but I like to have nice and secure flies. Then come in with your whip finish, stroke all fibers back and then with a 3-4 turn whip finish, finish off the fly and cut off your thread. If you have too many fibers on the underside, come in with your scissors and you can just cut these off. Then the fly will lay nice and flat on the water and all these CDC fibers will have a really nice movement to it. So there we can see that the fly has a really nice profile. So there we have the CDC Excadis. Thanks for watching and if you haven't already please subscribe and if you liked the video leave me a like or a comment if you have any questions I'll be happy to answer them. So see you next time and happy tying.